Scott. Well, switching gears now, the Quincy Park District is moving forward with plans to privatize Art Keller Marina. It's happening because the number of boat slip rentals have actually dropped by 45% in the past 10 years. WGEM's Jada Hill is live on the dock for us tonight with details. Jada. Take a look around. The slips here at Art Keller Marina are pretty empty and not just because winter is coming, but because fewer people are renting slips. That's why the Park District is questioning spending taxpayer money here. At one point, the Art Keller Marina had a waiting list. Now slips remain vacant. Quincy Park District Board President John Frankenhoff says he doesn't want to spend public money on something so few people use which is why they are actively looking to privatize the marina. An entrepreneur, local business person or a company could step in and manage and operate the marina, uh, therefore taking that burden off of the taxpayers and hopefully providing a good uh, quality marina and service uh, to the renters and the people that enjoy the river. Rob Ebbing has had slips in the marina for over 30 years. He says with privatization, you have to think about the cost. It is going to you know, increase the or enhance the quality of the marina and the services than you know, before it. You know, we also have to be aware that sometimes private, privatization and, and enhancements comes with a cost. Frankenhoff says they will gather feedback and can always reverse course. We are not locked into this route or this decision. Um, that's why it's important for people to let us know uh, via the survey, emails, phone calls, whatever. Let the board and let our staff know your opinions and then we go from there. Ebbing thinks upgrading the marina could have a real trickle down benefit on Quincy. If it's going to make it better for the community, meaning that it could potentially bring in more um, people that are transient to come into Quincy, I'm all for it. Frankenhoff says the park board hopes to have everything wrapped up hopefully by next spring. Live in Quincy, Jada Hill, WGEM News.